Does it show in many ways the challenge and the difficulties for young managers who are trying to break into the elite level at clubs? Young and old managers, so here you have to win. When the people talk about projects and ideas, it doesn't that don't exist. Is you have to win. If not, you will be sack. Um, respect the decision from Chelsea, of course, but a huge hack from from Frank, and hopefully, I can see him soon. Uh, when the lockdown will be will be over, I can go to the restaurant to, you know, to see him again. Have you been impressed by what you've seen from him in his short managerial career? Sorry. Have you been impressed by what you've seen from Frank Lampard in his relatively short managerial career to this point? If he's appointed a team like uh, Chelsea after and the good job had done in every country, so it's because they deserve it. But we de we we depend on the results, not the way we play, it, not about uh, philosophy or these kind of things or the projects. So you have to get results. If not, you will be replaced for another manager. Thomas Tuchel is set to replace him, someone that you would come across in your time in the Bundesliga. I just wonder what qualities he'll have and what he'll bring to the Premier League. When it's confirmed, I will let you know. I'm really sad for Frank and, uh, and his staff. Uh, I know how much the club means to him, Rob, and, and everything that he's given the club. And, um, and obviously, looking at the squad and looking at everything else around it and how young they are and the adaption for, for players coming in. It's it, just a team and a squad that needs time. Unfortunately, he, uh, he hasn't been given that time. So uh, no, I, I really, really feel for him. Um, a guy who's who done great at Derby, you know, he had the courage to step out of um, an amazing career as a player. Uh, and and could have taken an easier route, but it's gone straight into coaching and managing, and uh, done a great job at Derby. Took a job he couldn't really turn down, even though he had uh, not a lot of experience, but um, but felt he he could have done a, a really good job there, and he did do that uh, last last season. You know that in this life as a as a professional coach and manager that you're going to lose your job. It's it's absolutely guaranteed it's what happens he will be better for it it doesn't feel like it today um, but uh, I can assure him that that will be the case and it's, I've always said that to every manager I, I speak to I saw Frank as uh, certainly one of the, the most up and coming young, young English managers in the country and I think it's a big thing that uh, we do try and encourage to get so many of our own British managers into the, into the big leagues if we can so I'm disappointed for Frank, but uh, no, I'm sure he'll come back, he'll learn from it. He did a great job last year with the team. He did a really good job, I think, when he had so many of the young players who'd come through from the academy, and they looked a really good side last season especially.